All right, so I'm here at G3 at the... Okay, I'm not even going to try. I'll let him pronounce the, the... But I'm with Jeffrey Rice, and we're going to talk about Bible rebinding. So Jeffrey and I know each other for a tad bit. Oh, I didn't remember. You remembered me, so I'll let you explain how we met, because I forgot, and, <laughs> and then what, uh, what you guys do. Yeah, well, I never forget a face. And I, I have an ugly face that takes weeks to get over, so I understand. Well, we had something in common, because we both trained in martial arts, jiu-jitsu, and stuff like that. And so, and you are a very much extroverted, and I am very much introverted. And, uh, b but we had that in common, so we was able to share. But w it was at the Super Bowl outreach whenever the Super Bowl was in Phoenix, Arizona. And so that's where I met you. That's where I first got to get to know you, and I started following your ministry from there. So we're, d we're here at G3. You, uh, you've made it to probably zero sessions because you, like me, have been in the exhibit hall the whole time, pretty much. So if you've made it to any sessions, which sessions did you make it to and which, which ones did you enjoy? If you haven't, that's fine. Either way, let us know what you've enjoyed most about being here at G3. Well, I did make it to see Dr. White. Dr. White is... Uh, is there any preference you have with Dr. White? You know, he mentions your, your, ministry, your, your bindings a little bit sometimes. Yeah, uh, Dr. White. God has used Dr. White in my life when it's come to theology issues and with my business, being able to put a Bible in Dr. White's hand and him... Uh, promoting me and having me on the dividing line has has turned me into a struggling artist and to you know now I'm able to feed my kids well and you don't even have time to get you know some Bibles ready to be at Shepherd's Conference because you get to work a lot faster now huh yeah I don't have time to do much of <laughs> anything welcome to ministry so what, what have you enjoyed here at G3 from the uh, outside of the sessions Man, just the fellowship, being in a Christian community with like-minded believers, being able to make connections, you know, like with you, you know, uh, uh, being able, I, I follow your ministry online, Facebook, Twitter, being able to hang out, talk, connect, share a few words, hug, take pictures, even this right here, like this really means a lot, just being able to, to connect with believers. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about, well, you're first going to have to, you know, pronounce the name because, you know, I don't do, you know, the Latin very well or that is Latin, right? Okay, just checking. So, <laughs> so if pronou pronounce it, but then uh, let, describe why you do this, what, what you do, and how it's helpful for folks. All right, so this is post tender breast Lux Bible Rebinding. When we came with the name, we wanted something that didn't point to me, but pointed to Christ. And we know that it points to the Reformation, but ultimately people don't understand how it points to Christ and to the gospel. The Bible tells us that we were dead in our trespasses and sins. That's darkness. But he made us alive in Christ. That's light. After darkness, light. So we wanted something that didn't reflect me, because I got a face for radio. Um, I'm, but we wanted something that pointed back not only to the Reformation, but to Christ. We wanted it to be Christian origin. And, uh, yeah, and so what I do is, is I just I, I take Bibles, and I, and I put a, a premium goatskin cover on it. My goatskin has a 100-year shelf life. They're made... In a, in, in a way of construction as if when you hold it you'll say man this thing will never fall apart but it's also made because I'm an artist as if when you look at it you say man that thing is beautiful and so that so we added the two things that I was very good at I roofed houses for 25 years I'm a master coppersmith so I know how to construct something but I've also been a painter uh, an artist I can draw I was a tattoo artist for a while and I've been able to put that also into the Bibles that I did. <laughs> yeah. Tattoos, huh? Yes. <laughs> so, so these right here are some of the books. I should have the mic on me. These are some of the books that, that you have here that you've done. Uh, you also have, well, what's in those cans? Well, actually, wait. As, as we look at your booth here, there's, oh, I love that word. Look, look at that word right there. Look at that. Free. What's for, oh, a free Bible cleaning, and you use these, these things that you have in the cans for this, for the premium Bibles. Why don't you explain what those are? Yeah, well, uh, so leather is just like skin. If you don't uh, moisturize your skin, your skin uh, starts to dry out and crack. Well, leather is skin, and so the Bible butter is particular. it's made for leather, and uh, once or twice a year, you rub it on your Bible real good, wax on, wax off. And it keeps your Bible from uh, drying up, cracking, and it prolongs the longevity of your Bible. All right. And you have people that send you in old Bibles, and you, re you basically give them all new covers. People who have 
Bibles from their, their grandfather or their, maybe theirs that they want to pass on to a next generation and they want it to last. How could they get a hold of you to send in Bibles or to, to check out some of your Bibles? The best way to get a hold of us is through ptlbiblerebinding.com. That's ptlbiblerebinding.com. You can go to our website, and all of our social media outlets are linked to it. So once you're on there, you can get to our Facebook, Twitter, uh, what was, what's, uh, Instagram, and also you can call me at 615-569-2114, 615-569-2114. Okay, so that is, we make it easier for those that might be watching, ptlbiblerebinding.com. Now, I see that, oh, enter to win customized Bible. You, is this where you announced that I won the customized Bible, right? If you had that, a girl name, I could probably uh, switch it off because I think, uh, I, think, I think the name was like a Caroline or a Kathleen or something Chelsea. like that. Chelsea. Chelsea, oh, that's what it was. I, I think I identify as a Chelsea this hour. <laughs> but uh, so, so I, you know, it's, it's cool that we could reconnect and, and things like that. Sorry, I didn't remember the first meeting. But, but uh, you know, the work that you do, do and folks who might be watching don't get a real appreciation from even from looking at this you don't get a real appreciation for it so you definitely want to check it out you you, you have you have any videos and stuff for people to see some of the handiwork yeah, man, i got some videos on my, on my on my website as soon as you click on the website there's a video of me putting a bible together and then uh i'm working on making some connecting with some people making some little commercials and uh i have a youtube channel called trailer 1689 trailer 1689 i grew up in the trailer park and i hope to the london baptist confession of faith of 1689 so we just brought the hood in with the theology <laughs> and so on there i do some bible reviews and i also uh you do a little bit of teaching and giving my opinion on some stuff you know my two cents all right well hey thanks for coming on and uh give you a little chance to wrap anything up with anything else you have but i just want to say hey really appreciate the work i, I picked a bible up from you as you know this week and as a gift for someone, and I'm trying to, I'm going to have to try and get you a Bible that I want to re rebind. So I might have to give that to you at Shepherd's Conference where you'll be at, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to say thank you to you. And, I, and, I, and again, I want to thank everyone that listens to your, uh, your, your, uh, your channel and what you do. And I want you all to know that this is a good man. Uh, just, just really a heartfelt, like if you have his attention one-on-one -on -one, and gives it to you, and that's not something that you get from a lot of people. And I like to say hallelujah, holla back to all my folks out there. Love y'all. Okay, I'll give you that five bucks later. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man.